In this lecture, let's discuss solving for the pH of weak acid solutions. Solving for the pH of weak acids involves more analysis compared to strong acids. Recall, weak acids do not fully dissociate. Their Ka's are less than one and typically very small. This means that if the weak acid is allowed to dissociate, the extent of the dissociation is unknown and the equilibrium concentration of H plus is unknown. This means we must set up an ice table and solve for the equilibrium concentration of H plus to solve for the pH. The purpose of this lecture is to explain setting up the ice table and show how to find the equilibrium concentration of H plus. Let's review the ice table first, which is discussed in nearly every chemistry textbook from freshman to senior level. I stands for the initial concentration of all species. C stands for the change in concentration. These entries will depend on the shift to reach equilibrium and how much of each species is gained or lost. And E stands for the equilibrium concentration. Let's assume a simple example of a 1.0 molar initial concentration of HA, and initially there is no concentration of H plus nor the conjugate base A minus. We can set up a reaction quotient from the law of mass action and see that clearly Q is equal to zero. Thus, Q is less than K and there will be a shift to the right so the system can reach equilibrium. The change in concentration is negative one X for HA because a shift to the right means that HA will be lost. One X comes from the coefficient stoichiometry in the balanced equation. The change for H plus and A minus are both plus one X because a shift to the right means these species are gained. 1x comes from the stoichiometric ratios in the balanced equation. Sum these initial and change terms to get the equilibrium concentrations of 1.0 minus x for HA and plus x for both H plus and A minus. You can see that the concentration of H plus is x. Thus, the goal is to solve for x. We can insert these equilibrium terms into the equilibrium expression, Ka. Ka is x times x in the numerator, or x squared, over 1.0 minus x. But the equilibrium constant is very small for weak acids. This means when the system reaches equilibrium, there will be much more reactant than product. Thus, the extent of the reaction is small. Let's approximate that the minus x term in the denominator is very small. In other words, the change is very small, so we can ignore the minus x term in the denominator. Solving for x, which is the concentration of H plus at equilibrium, gives the equation square root of the equilibrium constant times the initial concentration of HA. And the pH is the negative log of this equation. This will be our approximation equation for all weak acids. Of course, when we make approximations, we should always check for errors. In this case, we'll check for what's called the percent dissociation. This is the percentage of the original acid that dissociates. To solve for percent dissociation, take the concentration of H plus at equilibrium and divide by the original concentration of the weak acid and multiply this value by 100. Approximations are generally acceptable for dissociations less than 5% but you must solve the quadratic formula for dissociations more than 5%.
Thank you for watching. In our next video, we'll solve for the pH of a weak acid solution.